I set off to start my 48th year in existence in this world to travel more. In a very random twist of fate, led me to Bangkok, Thailand, and the ancient city of Ayutthaya. A first in my life, and one happy accident. This was booked just three months before the trip, without me doing any research beforehand. All I know is the usual stuff the common person knows about what to expect in Thailand. But one thing is certain. I want to experience something new. Go places while I still can. Same as most of my cycling adventures. So let me take you to a ride. My first travel experience in Siam now known as the Kingdom of Thailand. This travel was on October 2023, booked through MVEX, a local travel agency. I was able to select my own dates of travel. This is a duo vacation trip by yours truly and my friend Darwin. The package included some of the guided tours, but also gave me enough time and freedom to plan my own itinerary. One good thing about getting package tours is you have less hassle in booking your own flights especially on this case, which I relatively had a short timetable before the actual travel date. This will be a three-night stay. We were set to leave Manila in the morning and arrive at Suwanapum Airport by lunchtime. Airport transfers were included, but if you plan to do a DIY travel, taxi and grab is available. It will be a 45 to an hour trip, including some traffic from the airport to Bangkok. Stayed in Pratonam, where most tourist hotels are located. Our home for this trip is called My Hotel. First day, I was free to choose my destination, and I am a sucker for stunning overlooking views. So first on the list is King Power Mahanakon Skywalk. It is a 78-story skyscraper where you can observe above and beyond the whole Bangkok. We had our lunch just across the Mahanakon building itself. It is a food court with Michelin-rated food stalls. Then. We proceeded to Mahanakon Skywalk, you will be greeted by some light displays and the elevator that will take you up will have a mini digital light show inside. On the 74th floor is an indoor 360 observation deck. Then, a hydraulic glass lift will bring you to the 78th floor, which where you will find the glass tray skywalk and the outdoor 360 observation, the deck and rooftop. On the 75th floor is the cafe and souvenir shop. When we visited Mahanakon, currently has the bare brick worldwide 
toy displays. I think this is the best overlooking view I have seen yet. If you love this kind of sights, I recommend you visit Mahanakum Skywalk Observation Deck. At the end of the day, I looked up another famous thing to do in Bangkok. Have a dinner cruise in the Chao Phraya River. Booked it through Klok. You can choose from two famous ones, the Royal Princess and the White Orchid. Among the two, the White Orchid is slightly cheaper and I gave it a shot. Boarding the Chao Phraya River cruise, you can opt to board to Asia Take the Riverfront, which is famous for Thailand's largest ferris wheel and mini stalls for shopping. There are also bars just right near the dock to have a cold one or two. The other option is boarding through the famous lifestyle center mall, Icon Siam. The 
White Orchid had many choices of food in its buffet, unlimited beer, and great entertainment. Going on the Chow Praia River cruise was a very relaxing way to see Bangkok. And this one I also recommend. Especially the earlier cruise so you can see the beauty of Bangkok during daytime, sunset, and finally to get to see the night lights. First day was quite fun. Got to experience the city and most of all, relax. Get everything to shake. Uh -huh. So now we are on the way go to Thonburi area. Second day, our package included a half-day tour of some famous temples in Thailand. When going on to temples, always remember to dress respectfully. No vest, spaghetti straps, or tank tops. Shoulders are always covered, or at least knee-length shorts. Or to be safe, wear pants. First stop is Wat Arun Temple or Temple of Dawn. The main feature of Wat Arun is its central prank which is encrusted with colorful porcelain. Given the beauty of the architecture and the fine craftsmanship, it's not surprising that Wat Arun is considered by many as one of the most beautiful temples in Thailand. The temple derives its name from the Hindu god Aruna, often personified as the radiations of the rising sun.
Next is Wat Saket or the Golden Mount, the only hill in Bangkok. It is an Ayutthaya shrine with a gleaming gold shedi above the 80 meter high mount. To reach the stupa on top of the Golden Mount requires a 344 step climb the hill. On one of the platforms on the way to the top, you will find the line of large prayer bells that Buddhist people strike producing a deep tone. Once upstairs, you will have a great view of Bangkok in all directions. Sakit Temple itself is located at the base of the hill, and most visitors miss it, just climbing on the top of the Golden Mount. In the temple complex, you will find an ordination hall, an assembly hall, a scripture library where Buddhist scriptures are kept, and the monks living quarters. continue the day, I decided to visit two more temples, the Grand Palace. It offers a wonderful insight into Thai culture and heritage, alongside some of the country's most beautiful traditional architecture. The entrance was quite much pricier, but it's great to see this area and learn and embrace their culture.
finally, just near the Grand Palace is Wakpo, where I went to see specifically the famous reclining golden boot. Wrapped up day 2 a bit early and just explored the nearby area and malls in Pratunam. Also to prepare a whole day tour for Ayutthaya the next day. Third day was a whole day Ayutthaya historical tour. <laughs> All right. So an FA, I always said that please think it easy, simple. That is Thai lifestyle. Okay. Thai After around an hour travel from Bangkok, you will arrive in the historical city Ayutthaya, former capital of Thailand. Come to be the guest in here. A little bit on his time, we divide the palace to be outdoor pass and inner pass because of easy to manage. What? Our first stop is Bangbaing Summer Palace. The site was first used by the royal court as a summer retreat in the 17th century. However, the palace was destroyed with the fall of Kingdom of Ayutthaya and was restored by King Rama IV in the mid 19th century. Most of the buildings that exist today date from the reign of King Rama V, who regularly spent his summer there. The structures represent a variety of architectural styles set in the large park around ponds and waterways. You can explore this wide area through foot or if you have your own country's driver's license, you can rent a golf cart for around 400 baht. The Nine Chamber Mansion. modern in the nito. Parang kam <laughs> Had our lunch at Central Ayutthaya, then off to the next stop, which is Wat Yai Chai Mongkong. Wat Yai Chai Mongkong, the monastery of auspicious victory, is located east of the historical island. Highlight of the monastery is its very large imposing pram dominating the area. Wat Yai Chai Mong Kong is still an active temple. Monks live in Kuti on the grounds.
what Chai Watanaram was built following the concepts of Khmer Mountain Temples of Angkor to symbolize the universe in Buddhist and Hindu cosmology. The monastery is surrounded by one meter wide wall with arched gateways. The main entrance is east towards the Chao Praya River. The king used to arrive by boat on the river and used a boat landing to access the monastery. Last for the day is Wat Mahatan, which is famous for the sandstone Ayutthaya style head of Buddha image in a tree's root. It is one of the oldest and most significant temples in the history of Ayutthaya, as it housed the Buddha's holy relic. Many important royal ceremonies of the Ayutthaya area had been hosted here. When the Ayutthaya kingdom failed in 1767, Wat Pra Mahatat was severely damaged by fire and was since abandoned. Visiting a foreign land can be intimidating, but the excitement still overflows once you think of knowing their culture, the kindness of their people, the richness of their history and things like eating like a local. Thailand is definitely worth a try. And now I'm off to the next. But before I leave, all I can say is, I'll be coming back for more to you, Thailand. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay strong.